So again, this is a series on said. There should be an annotation, hopefully, up on the screen that links you to a playlist with all my uh, the said videos in this uh, series. Uh, this is like the fifth, I think, tutorial. Um, and we're going to be looking at the delimiter. Okay, so what is a delimiter? A delimiter, um, I don't know. I was the definition of a delimiter. Uh, it's a character that um, basically defines where things are cut. Uh, uh, most commonly you might know if, if you're familiar with the cut command you can say uh, with a delimiter of like a dash or something like that and that would tell you where to cut things up. Well when we're working with set again uh, we have our text file that we've been working with. Um, if I was to use said to substitute as we have been like so We'll just say replace all T's, all capital T's with lowercase T's. That's <laughs> basically my basic example in this series. Basically, all these forward slashes are delimiters. Well, things can get a little confusing with those forward slashes sometimes. If I was to go into our text file, and let's say I was to put a backslash in actually forward slash, uh, in here, wait, yeah, forward slash in here. And let's say now I want to replace something with a forward slash. Well, if I was to say said uh, substitute one, two, three, G, our text file, and I want to replace all the places where there was a forward slash W with asterisks. That's not going to work. I'm going to hit enter here. It's going to say, what? You know, what's going on? And that's because it's seeing this forward slash as a delimiter. It's going, it's thinking that this is the second forward slash in the command. Well, most commonly, these forward slashes are used and to tell um, said that this, d that this is uh, a, 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 a sorry, <laughs> that this is not part of the command, but one of the strings you want to edit, we're going to use a backslash, uh, and that will tell um, the said, said will go, oh, okay, this isn't a backslash, uh, this is a forward slash that's a string. Well, then it can get confusing, so you can see that worked, it's, so it's, it's seeing this as just a forward slash in the strings. Well, that can get confusing. Let's say I was to go into here and I was to say, okay, backslash there. Uh, then how, you know, it's like, oh, well, that works but for replacing the forward slash W. But let's say I want to replace the backslash forward slash W. Well, I can go in here and I can put another backslash there. No. See, it gets confusing. Even I get confused. Um, I think I need to do another backslash. There we go. So this backslash is telling said this backslash is just a string and this backslash is telling said that this forward slash is a string. So you can see it can get very confusing and this is commonly how it's done because people use uh, the forward slashes most commonly with said. But did you know you don't have to use these forward slashes? I didn't either until about a half an hour ago when I started recording these videos and I was looking stuff up on said. Turns out you can use pretty much anything you want. Basically, whatever you put after that S is your delimiter for the rest of the command. So instead of doing all this junk here, if I want to replace that backslash forward slash W, what I could do is I can say underscore here, underscore here, and underscore here, and it works. Wait, no, it didn't work. Um... Oh, because it's still thinking that the backslash, yes. So you're still going to be stuck with the whole backslash thing. But if I want to replace just the forward slash W, I don't need the backslash before the W. I don't know if there's anything you can do about the backslashes. But the forward slashes, uh, I can replace with other stuff here. So I can say colons. And as long as I use it for all three of these, it will work. Uh, I can also use characters. I can say A, A. I mean, that would be a bad practice because 
then when you want to modify A's, you're going to have all these A's that you're going to have to backslash out. Um, but I just wanted to show you that you can use whatever character you want to divide up this command. And, uh, and depending on what your output's going to be, or your input's going to be, then you may want to use something other than the regular forward slashes. Although, it might be confusing to some people who don't know this, because a lot of people, well, pretty much everybody uses the forward slashes. But, especially, it can get confusing if you're working with file names on uh, a Linux system, since the, the folders are all going to have forward slashes in them, which means you're going to have to backslash all of them out. Well, instead of going in backslash, well, let, let's, let's do that. Let's go vim text. We'll add a line here. We'll say forward slash usr forward slash uh, share forward slash local forward slash whatever. So let's say I want to replace that line in the file. So we can say cat uh, out our file here. Normally, and this is the way it's commonly done, and nothing wrong with doing it that way, but I was just intrigued when I learned that I didn't have to do this. I want to replace that line with a zero. Obviously, this is not going to work. We're going to get the error that we got before. We could go in here and say backslash that, backslash that, backslash that, backslash that. And it worked. I replaced that whole line with zero. But, again, another way to do it would be to use a different delimiter here. So, instead of backslashing all those forward slashes, I can just use something like an underscore, or a colon, or a semicolon, or whatever. And it works. And it's a little cleaner to see. I can see, oh, I'm replacing that with that. Or with this, I'm like, oh, I'm replacing this. And then if I wanted to do something with this somewhere else, it's like, I can't just copy and paste. Now, you know, I don't know if this is considered bad practice using this. And like I said, it can confuse other people who don't realize you can use stuff other than the forward slashes. But I was amazed when I saw this because I've never seen that before. And I've been using said for years. And I just found this out about a half an hour ago and had to do a tutorial on it. So letting you know, so in case you see this being used somewhere, and also letting you know that, hey, if you want to use this in your own personal scripts, that's definitely okay. It's your own personal script. Again, if you're going to be sharing it with other people, make sure you tell them or just do it the, the not-so-clean-looking way. Anyway, those are delimiters in um, said. I hope you enjoyed these tutorials. Again, there's an annotation on the screen to the entire playlist. Be sure to check that out. Also, check out my website, filmsidechris.com. That's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description. Again, uh, if you're watching this uh, when I, the day that I put it out, I'll see you next Monday with more said tutorials. Thank you again, and have a great day.